Farmer Dre back at it. It's a beautiful day on the farm. We are getting close for strawberries to be here. But today, I'm going to talk to you guys about pre-bedding or bedding your beds before you put on plastic mulch on the strawberries. So you might be wondering, why do you need to even bed your beds? If you guys have seen vegetable farmers or, you know, people do pumpkins or anything like that, they just work up the dirt and in one pass, the plastic mulch layer lifts up the dirt, makes a raised bed and lays a plastic and drip tape all in one pass. And that would work if we were doing a short season crop, you know, that you plant in the spring, you harvest in the fall and that's it. But with strawberries, strawberries are very, very particular about how their roots are set in the ground. And with strawberries, they have crowns. You got the root system, the crown, and then the leaves. And if those crowns aren't nice and sturdy, if they don't have a nice, strong root system, then you will lose production whenever your customers are out here in the field or your employees picking berries, those crowns are going to rip out. And I had personal experience with this. Whenever we planted high tunnel strawberries, I didn't pre-bed and we just laid plastic mulch one pass, like just like that. And uh, it was a mess. Plants didn't do good. They didn't grow right. So on strawberries, you need to pre-bed or you need to bed up your dirt before you lay your plastic. And I'm gonna get into why you have to do that. First thing is first, as you can see here back here, we started laying plastic. And uh, on Monday, we got about an inch of rain. So we were laying and started raining and then boom, there went the whole next couple of days. So it's just now drying up. I think we're gonna try to give it a go tonight or tomorrow to finish laying. But once you pre-bed your strawberries, we laid a thousand foot of plastic. So these rows here are 500 foot long. We laid a thousand foot of plastic in the matter of like 10 minutes. It takes longer for me to cut the plastic and cut the drip tape at the end of the rows than it is going down to the end of the row. Just because everything's already in place, you don't gotta pull any dirt up, the tractor's going at regular speed, and you're just flowing down through there. So uh, whenever you pre-bed your strawberries or even any crop with a mulch layer, it goes much quicker. I'm gonna show you guys what the beds look like now with no dirt on them. And whenever you are pre-bedding, what I do here on the farm is I take everything off the mulch layer. So I, took off the, I take off the discs, I take off the trenchers, I lift up the wheels, I pick up the crown, uh, the part of the machine that makes a crown raised bed. And it's just a, a, a better. That's all it is. And I would buy another better, but since we have the mulch layer and I don't lay that much plastic, I just use my mulch layer as a better. So the only thing we're trying to achieve whenever we're bedding just like this is you just want to gather up dirt and compact it nicely and this is what your bed need to look like right here so all it is it's just raised dirt ready for plastic um it's pretty firm so what you want to do is after you lay your uh, before you lay your plastic you want to be able to walk on top of your strawberry bed like this and uh, you it shouldn't crumble if it crumbles it's not tight enough and you got to go through there again so these are really really solid raised beds and we also got an inch of rain on Monday, like I mentioned. So these also got rain on. And I was kind of scared that the rain is going to dissolve all these beds. And I worked so hard for no reason. But all the rain did, it just kind of crusted the top here a little bit. But other than that, it's still very compact in there. Um, so yeah, now I learned that rain doesn't really affect the strawberry beds too much. The only thing the rain did is create a lot of, where it's a little lower in the field, a lot of puddles here. But uh, what I do here, and I'll show you guys a video of me doing this. Whenever I'm laying, I put down the mulch layer. And I the first pass, I'm just trying to gather a little bit of dirt, not too much. The second pass, I hill it up a little tighter. And the third pass, I come through here and really compress it, really compact it down so that it can be nice and firm. And on the third pass, I usually wind out the three-point just one time around so I can put more pressure on the back because I don't need to pull any more dirt. So the first and second pass, I've already pulled all the dirt. On the third pass, I'm, gonna, I'm ready to compact the dirt in the back of the raised bed. And on the fourth pass, we start laying plastic mulch there like we did on those two rows. Uh, but this is what your field wants to look, needs to look like before you lay plastic mulch or strawberries, nice and firm. And like I mentioned, if it's not firm, I mean, compress it again, make it harder and harder uh, so that it can grow a nice, beautiful strawberries. And like I mentioned, strawberries like a nice firm raised bed. So that's why the harder the bed is or the more firm it is, 
the better it's going to be. Rebedding on strawberries doesn't take too long. I mean, it just, it's not a hard job, but it just takes long because uh, you got to do so many passes up and down in the field. And I'm doing three passes before we delay strawberries. Uh, a lot of guys who don't have as much rock and that have a bigger horsepower tractor only pre only pat do two passes. First time they raise it up, second time they compact it, and the third time they lay plastic. But with our tractor and the size of our mulch layer, uh, my tractor doesn't have enough power and strength to pull as much um, dirt to compact it or, or to bring enough dirt. So I got to do a few more passes. Um, but yeah, just make sure. I don't care how many passes you make. Make sure the bed is intact and compacted before you lay your, your plastic. Because the strawberries, if you don't have a nice compact bed, whenever you do plant your plants, then the bed will just naturally settle from the water, the irrigation that you're putting on the crop. And it's just going to end into a really flat, flat, um, into a flat bed. And then you won't be able to... Uh, produce a nice crop all right so this is my plastic mulch layer i want to come out here and show you guys what i take off whenever we are pre-bedding so the first thing that i take off when i'm pre-bedding is these um shanks here on both sides so these shanks what they do whenever you're laying plastic it cuts up a trench in the dirt and it loosens out the dirt so that whenever it's lined up with a disc here and then whenever the disc is ready to cover the plastic it has enough dirt to put on so whenever i'm pre-bedding i take these off on both sides just a three quarter inch a nut there on both sides of the bolts. I also take off these right here. So this underneath here, this plate, uh, comes off the bolt as well. This right here empties out a trench so that when the plastic is coming down and getting laid, so the plastic's right here, and whenever it's getting laid, let me try to pull down the plastic here. Um, so it's coming it's coming through the, the uh, anyway, so it's coming down through here underneath this through here and this little plate here that comes off when we take off it makes a trench of that plastic it falls into a trench and then the wheel pulls down the plastic and the disc here covers it up so i take that off as well on both sides another three quarter inch nut there pull those off on both sides i pick up the tires and take off the discs so then all it pretty much is just uh the plows on the front the bed the better and then i also I'm going to show you guys what I do here. I also pick up or ratchet strap up this bar right here. So this puts pressure on the plastic. So it makes a nice crown raised bed. So I also, it's kind of heavy, but I lift that up and ratchet strap it up to that. And then uh, it's just a, it's just a, um, a better. That's all it is. And then whenever we plastic, I add that, all that back on, put the wheels down, discs on the shanks and uh, we're ready to lay plastic. Take out is the uh, drip tape holder. I lay my plastic and drip tape all at once. I was talking to farmers who uh, lay plastic or drip tape before and then plastic, but I like to have that all at once. So uh, I also take this off as well, just to bolt, pull that out. So all it is, is just a better. The, uh, that's exactly what I do. And this rig is ready to set up. We got the drip tape here, seven, 6,000 foot roll of drip tape. We got the 4,000 foot rolls of five foot plastic. And uh, like I mentioned, it goes pretty quick when we start laying, but when you're pre-bedding, you don't want any of the uh, implements I just mentioned on there because then that stuff is made for laying and then it just creates a bigger mess later on. But um, that's how I do it. My first year ever laying plastic mulch or strawberries, I use a mulch layer, a Rainflow 2550, and that's a vegetable layer. It's made for five, uh, four foot plastic. And the only thing I took off was the discs. And what was happening, I was uh, loosening out too much dirt. And then whenever I was making my second and third pass, it was just pulling up all the dirt from the center of the rows. And then when I was ready to lay, there wasn't enough dirt on the sides there to pick up and to cover the plastic. And then I had problems with plastic flying away because there wasn't a dirt there because I shoved it all into the, um, the, the rain flow or into the machine. And that's why, like I mentioned in my previous videos about strawberry, that's why I have moldboard plow because if you don't have enough loose dirt when those discs are covering up the plastic, then you run into problems. And uh, if you have a really hard pan and the mulch layer can't pick up dirt to cover up the plastic with the discs, then you uh, the plastic just flaps everywhere and it's a big mess. So that's why you don't want to have any of this on whenever you're pre-bedding so that um, it can work out pretty good. So, I pre-bed my strawberry beds before we lay plastic or bed them up 
And then when, I'm gonna make a complete video of how the plastic goes on and does that whole process. The plastic laying is a pretty cool process if you've never seen it done. But it's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys learned something. That's how I do my all my strawberry steps. So I start off with a plastic with a disking with a deep ripping and the mulch laying. And then the plants are coming on the 15th of this month. So we'll get to planting. But it's gonna be it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out farmerdraysupply.com. That's where you're able to find all your gardening greenhouse needs. Like always, the link is down in the description box below. Honestly, thanks for watching up to this point. If you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. Y'all have a good day, and we will see you next time. <music>